think you just did a very large report, right, on venture capital and where it stands. Of course, some of the other pipelines that are rapidly growing uh, to compete with it. How do you think, how should investors think about uh, that particular line of business relative to the valuations of these companies? Yeah, look, I mean, venture has always been an area that we've that we focused on because it gives us a sense of what's coming next. Um, and, you know, we we've just gone through year to date the fastest growth that we've ever seen over a period like that. In venture, we're up 150 percent, over 150 percent year over year, just in this first part of the, the year, 50 billion dollars. And it's being driven by the incredible liquidity that you're seeing with, you know, the SPACs and IPOs and, you know, the, the fourth quarter having been the busiest um, fourth quarter that we've seen, uh, or really, really the busiest quarter that we've seen since the record that we set in the third quarter. So it just gives you a sense of sort of where, you know, where that money's um, coming from. And at the same time, you've still got $200 billion worth of dry powder sitting in venture funds waiting to be invested. And so we're, uh, we're, we're, we're not about to slow down, at, at least not anytime soon. Heath, good morning. It's John Ford. Are, are you looking any differently at the legal and regulatory risk to some of these companies? I mean, we were just talking with the state uh, Senate president in Maryland about their move to tax uh, digital advertising. At the same time, in North Dakota, they want to stop Apple from taxing or, or, you know, charging developers at the rate that they have been for the App Store. I mean, you've got all these different patchwork uh, legal things coming at these companies. At the federal level, fractured agendas tend to mean nothing gets done. But at the state level, it can mean a lot of things get done, right? Absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we were in this period for so long where the federal government provide, provided cover for these companies. You, you couldn't regulate on a on a state by state level. You know, we've seen some of this before. You know, the city of Chicago applying an entertainment tax to Netflix, but never at the level that we're that we're seeing it now. And it's, you know, it's going to be incredibly difficult for these companies that. Um, operate as globally as these do, because it's one thing to talk about 50 states here, but then you apply that at a, at a global level, and the level of complexity is, is just un, unbelievable. Um, that said, what we always see with regulation is regulation tends to favor the incumbents, because if it's difficult for Alphabet or Facebook or Amazon to deal with that kind of regulation, imagine what it's like for a company starting to try and compete with those companies on a global level to, to deal with that. And so in a lot of cases, and we certainly saw this with GDPR in Europe, the intended consequences are rarely the ones that we get. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.